Okay guys, this is what I did. I took the uh, retract module out of this. Uh, this is a 1400 millimeter. This is the V7 Big Beautiful Doll FMS P51 Mustang. And as I was saying, I took the stock retract module out of it and replaced it with the RC Lander one that's available at RC Castle and at Hobby King, maybe a few other places, but that's the two that I know of. To give it a little more realistic door operation, um, just like the real P51. So I'll kind of show you what I did. Forgive me for the camera jumbling around here, but I've uh, already got the plane on and the radio on. And I'll turn this thing upside down and show you what it looks like. I don't have the wing attached right now so that I can take it off and show you what else has to be done here. Let that kind of lay down there loose. So you can show you what else has to be done with the servos here. But anyway, I'll kind of move the camera around here so you can see the gear door operation. Right now the gear are up and we'll open them up. Looks like I've got one that's kind of sticking. We'll close those back up. And then as you can see the gear, the gear closures right behind it like I did with my giant the 1700 millimeter class. Cycle those one more time. I do have one that's kind of sticking from time to time. We'll try that again. All else fails, get a bigger hammer. I actually just screwed those back down. I need to put the extra washer underneath that gear. It binds so that it kind of jams it so it doesn't come out. Come out. But there we go. You can see you can see the doors close in behind the gear once they're retracted, just like the real P51 does. I'm still using all the stock servos, including the inner gear door servos there. Didn't have to change anything there, but I did have to reposition them, and I'll show that here in just a minute. Okay, now then, put this radio down, and take this camera off the mount, and show you what I had to do here. Turn the airplane right side back up again. And let's disconnect the battery so I can pull the wing off of it. Okay. I'm also using the easy connector from the P38 version, which makes this thing real easy to hook up. I just two connectors and she's ready to fly. I don't have to hook up all the individual units. It's worked out real well. Now. Move the fuselage over here out of the way. And kind of get the camera off here so I can hand hold it. Let me show you what I had to do here. Now then, you'll notice these two, the two servos here, which are still the stock servos, used are exactly 180 degrees from what they used to be. This one used to be right here, and this one used to be right here. The retract module is in reverse, so if you hook it up just stock as it is, the, the doors will actually operate in the wrong position, they'll, they'll, uh, which will cause the gear to jam up against them. So to do that, without having to use a servo reverser or to use reverse servos, uh, I took this servo and just flipped it 180 degrees and then rotated the horn the other direction. On the, on the opposite side so now that it's actually traveling in reverse same thing here As you can see this is where it used to be mounted I made a cut out here and just rotate the servo over I made a cut out here and move this servo from here to here and vice versa from here to here so they're 180 degrees from what they used to be so that the door sequencing is in the same way the retract module doesn't have an, op uh, have an uh, option to be able to change its direction and it's, I guess it was designed around the reverse servos uh, for their operation, but for this plane you have to use it if you're going to use the stock servos. Otherwise you can leave them as it is and, make and uh, 
change their direction by doing some soldering in the pots and make them reverse. Uh, I've tr I tried some reverses on it when it was originally like that and apparently I, the re uh, reversers which most of us use from Hobby King, the little three prong outputs and slow down module, doesn't seem to work with the, with the module which is right here. There's the new retract module from the stock one and it plugging a reverser into the door side of it didn't seem to work well so I just changed the servos around to keep things simple. So this was an easy solution to it, it was basically just taking the original servos pop them out of there they're just down with with the uh, rubber cement flip them 180 degrees mount the horn on the opposite side didn't even have to change the linkage uh, distance or anything still the same uh, depth and so forth and just a little bit of readjustment and there you go and then you've got the door sequencing off that little module which is only like seven dollars and the doors will close in behind the gear when it's extended and when they're retracted just like the real P51 so that was my little solution to that hope that helps you all I posted on it a little hard to write about so hope that works and easy mod for this plane to give it some real retract door operations there's plenty others around but this was the smallest one that I had found that will actually give that uh, sort of operation real small little unit as you can see easily tied into the cable here and super tiny and it gives you options one and options two standard doors like a P47 or uh, other planes of that type or the doors closing in behind the gear once they're retracted up or down P51 style instead of using the larger EMS sequence which is about the size of a receiver and sometimes it's it hard to fit in some of these smaller planes okay there it is guys Thanks for watching.